Most of the time in the geologic world, crystals grow very, very slowly, like thousands and thousands of years. And this happens because typically they crystallize from a thick magmatic liquid uh, at a great depth in the Earth's crust. And when that happens, the nutrient diffusion rate, the rate at which those elements can be supplied to the growing surface, is actually very slow, and that limits the size the crystal can attain. So typically we see crystals that are centimeters and millimeters in size. But sometimes, counterintuitively, if I have a magma that's dominant or rich in water, that really thins it out and it allows those nutrients to diffuse very quickly to the growing surface. And so in a very short period of time, so years or hundreds of years, I can grow very large crystals like the ones we see here. And that happens in rock formations that we refer to as pegmatites. The next specimen I'd like to talk about is this amazing specimen of cataplayite. Cataplayite is a sodium zirconium silicate. This particular specimen comes from Mont Saint-Hilaire, located about 30 kilometers to the southeast of Montreal. Mont Saint-Hilaire is a world famous uh, alkaline rock deposit. It's unbelievable the amount of mineral diversity that we see there. There's over 300 known mineral specimens and about 50 were discovered there initially. Mont Saint-Hilaire is truly a Canadian treasure. This cataplayite is one of the best, if not the best, specimens in the world. It's a common mineral occurring in these alkaline deposits, but with this kind of clarity and this kind of size is virtually unheard of, and it would have a price tag on the open market to match that. These crystals are about 15 centimeters in size, and they're almost completely clear, and that's amazing, because as hard as it is to grow large crystals, and as rare as that is, it's even harder to grow them perfectly. And that's because it needs a calm environment, calm liquid that's solidifying, and it needs to be unobstructed by other crystal material, or else things get intergrown and they get sort of mangled together. And as you can see, that absolutely didn't happen here. So the Canadian Museum of Nature is an ideal place to study how crystals grow. With over 50,000 specimens of high quality to work on, it's absolutely incredible. Minerals are fundamental building blocks of the earth and we'll always need to study them. In doing so, we can learn about how to create advanced materials and how elements behave in the environment over long periods of time. And that can help us solve environmental problems and even understand how other planets other than the earth work.